Oh, I just found a really nice path to cut through here at uh, Georgia Southern University Armstrong. Um, let's say that you've, you've done everything that I've talked about, but now it's just getting down to networking. Let's talk about networking. So uh, I touched on it briefly in my first video and I just said it's really important and you need to do it and you need to put your energy behind it and get some momentum going and meet people and well, let's dive into it a little bit more. Um, so who are the people that could hire you? Who are the people that could hire you? So I can, I can tell you who would hire me, but it's gonna be different for you because it might be a department head or it might be someone at the producer level or the, uh, you know, it might be, uh, depends on what position you are, right? And what you're going after. So we're gonna kind of try to keep it generic, but just think about that. Think about who are the people that, that could hire you or could help lead you to work. Um, those are the people that you wanna network with, right? Very important. And where do you meet them? Where, where can you find these people? Um, all right, we got a nice little fountain be fountain behind me right here. Um, I, I got a couple ideas to put down. This is stuff that I was probably thinking about um, when I was starting out and, I'm, and, and, and brainstorming, just going, yeah, where, where are these people? So I listed down in the city that you live in, you want to find, your, your, find and meet all the people at the film office, right? Introduce yourself. Don't be shy. You know, go to those mixer, social mixers that I was talking about if they have one. You got to know who these people are because if they can remember who you are and drop your name at some point, you might get a phone call. You might get an email about at work. Um, the staff, you know, who's in charge of the film office? Um, um, do they know you? Do they know that you're here and you've set up shop? Um, stages or, st or, uh, or studios. I just put that one down because, you know, I remember when I first moved to Savannah, I actually got to meet some people who ran uh, little stages and studios and we don't have big ones here, but like studio space, because because that's where movies and TVs are made, right? Inside these uh, these sound stages. Who are those people that 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 run those buildings? And and you know, let's meet them. Uh, talk to them. And, and if you have business cards, hopefully, I didn't even mention that when I was talking about uh, branding and stuff. Actually, we can touch on that in a little bit because I kind of skipped that. Um, but you're you're passing out your business cards. You're letting people know that you're there, that you exist. Um, the film industry gatherings, you know, I mentioned that, uh, social meetings, but also like sometimes film people just hang out and uh, they do things. I wrote down here 48 hour film festival because that's an example of, of something that might be controversial subject, but is, it's kind of like something you're doing for fun or something you're doing for free. But basically what you're doing is you are lending your skills or giving your skills away for free or for fun, but it's all also in the name of exposure for you to, to show people that you're out there that you exist and uh, in my case I, I did that I, I volunteered for a 48 hour film festival team we had a lot of fun we made our video we turned it in and that actually ended up leading to work because um, the people on that team later were in a position to hire someone or to recommend me and um, so be thinking about stuff like that when you're when you're doing your networking um, short films you know I mentioned 48 hour, but like short film projects, even student films. I worked on a, on a student film here uh, with some SCAD students. And you know, I, I was looking at these, at these young, young kids as like my future boss, right? Uh, that's the attitude I had is like, they're gonna, they're gonna grow up in the industry just like I grew up in the industry and someday they might hire me. So some of them asked me if I would, uh, if I would help do sound on one of the projects. And I said, yes, cause I was available. Uh, student films. So anyway, you get the idea. Um, the point is, as part of your networking, consider those kinds of people. Um, what else do I have on here? Oh, your fellow co-workers in the industry. So we're, on, we're still on the topic of who could potentially hire you or who could help connect you to someone who could hire you. So this one's huge, guys. And this is sort of also in the category of like once you're already established type stuff. But your fellow workers, people that you work with across multiple departments, if they know who you are and they know you're good at what you do, they're going to drop your name. Because I do the same thing. I drop, I drop people's names um, and look out for my, my friends. Um, when a production comes to town and they, they want to know who, who, uh, who, who, who's who <laughs> and who does stuff and, and how well they work and stuff, um, I drop their names and I go, hey, you should really, if you're looking for this position, this title, this, you know, you should talk to so-and-so, they're really good. So anyway, that's powerful, super powerful. And um, well, again, we go back to being that positive person, right? That we talked about in the, in the other video is, 
if you're the kind of person who's negative and isn't friendly and doesn't get along with people, are they gonna talk about you and drop your name and suggest that you're really awesome? Maybe not. <laughs> so, so think about that. Uh, think about that when you're um, in your relationships with people and your friendships with people because it could lead to work, right? Okay, and your success. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I keep a list of industry contacts. Oh, and I, and I try to stay in touch with them. Uh, it's very common to, as you go along, to um, kind of build a little bit of a, a Rolodex of, of contacts of people that you've worked with before. You know, every once in a while, drop them a line. If you're, if you're friends with them on social media, if they're on social media, great. Um, but, you know, it's very common, especially like around the holidays, like, uh, like New Year's and stuff like that, to send out an email. Um, the best one I ever saw was great, by the way. It was a camera operator who had a picture of himself with a camera. And he just said, hey, just want to wish you Happy New Year. How's it going? And, uh, and uh, look forward to, uh, you know, working together with you in the coming year, you know, on, on a project. And basically, it's just sort of like a little bit of a reminder of like, hey, remember me? I'm over here. <laughs> and, and I've done that before, actually. I remember I sent uh, an email out one time to all the, at the time, all the producers that I had worked with and, and as I was starting out, and I said, hey, I'm really excited because I just bought a bunch of new equipment, and here it is, and looking forward to working with you. And I kid you not, like minutes after I sent out that email, I got asked to, to do a job. It was like, oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> Um, I got asked to work, so um, keeping in touch with those contacts is kind of important. Um, let's get into some stuff sort of at the end here and I'll wrap up. Um, uh, I put down give, give back, helping others, uh, exchanging and help, uh, exchange help with others. Basically what that means is um, if you have an opportunity to give back, and I don't just mean like only in the sense of like the film industry, you know, like, but actually help people, um, give back. I guess just to kind of wrap up, I would say maybe consider being a mentor uh, to somebody, um, consider helping someone, and uh, if you've learned some lessons, share those lessons with others. You know, I think that's the whole point of why I did these videos was, again, people were calling me, people were asking me for advice and stuff, and so that's all this is, is just stuff that I've learned over the, over the years, and I absolutely um, have not figured it all out. I learn new things all the time, and new ways to improve, and you know, maybe we'll end it there. That's a good way to end the video is just saying never stop learning because that's a good life trait as well, but never stop um, improving. And if there's something you can do to make yourself more hireable and more, more uh, attractive, more desirable <laughs> in the work sense, um, do it. You know, don't be stagnant and, and, and don't be lazy. Always be pushing and striving for um, achieving that next level of what your goal is. So if you um, found this video to be helpful, um, you can like, you can subscribe, that's awesome, but uh, share it with somebody, you know, share it with somebody else who's maybe trying to start their career in the um, uh, film and television industry and their freelance career, and maybe it'll help them. Uh, do that for me, and um, let's all grow together and, and, uh, and be successful together.